Namaste. Have you ever wondered how mathematicians solve the most complex problems by stripping away the unnecessary until only the essential truth remains? It is much like the method followed in the study of Vedanta. Today, instead of spending an hour delving into the different ways to attain the highest truth, I will give you a concise and powerful understanding of the all-pervading, all-encompassing and eternal Brahman. By using the method of elimination from mathematics, we will systematically discard what is non-essential, leading us to the understanding of the idea of Brahman, the ultimate reality that underlies everything. Stay with me as we unravel this profound concept step by step just as a mathematician simplifies a complex equation. It won't take long. A quote by Leo Tolstoy comes to my mind. He said, Truth, like gold, is to be obtained not by its growth, but by washing away from it all that is not gold. Let's clarify the fundamentals. Anything with shape and form must have a beginning and an end, whether it is a living being, a mountain, a planet, a star, or even an entire constellation. What must be noted here is that anything or any being that has a beginning and an end cannot be Brahman. It is important to realize that all forms are vibhuti or manifestations of the one unseen supreme reality. This truth can be gleaned from the teachings of the 10th chapter, Vibhuti Yoga, in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. In chapter 7, Shloka 24, Krishna emphasizes that considering his physical appearance as the ultimate reality is a result of foolishness. This reinforces the idea that Brahman, the eternal and formless essence personified as Krishna, transcends all manifestations. Before explaining further, let me give you Shloka 25 from the first chapter from the Avadhuta Gita. Tattva masyadi vakyena svatma hi pratipaditah neti neti shrutir bhurya dantrutam vancha bhautikam Our true self is affirmed by statements like that you are. Regarding what is untrue and made of the five elements, the scripture or shruti declares not this, not this. Understanding Brahman through the elimination method. In mathematics, the elimination method is used to systematically remove variables and terms until a simplified solution or essential core remains. This logical process mirrors the philosophical journey to understand Brahman, the ultimate reality in Vedantic philosophy. Step by step elimination. 1. Eliminate the non eternal. Begin by discarding all that is temporary and transient. Material objects, bodily sensations and emotions are impermanent. They arise and pass away and thus cannot represent the eternal truth. 2. Eliminate the dependent. Next, remove what is dependent on other entities for its existence. Our thoughts, perceptions and experiences are contingent on the mind and the sensory organs. Since they rely on something else, they cannot be the ultimate reality. 3. Eliminate the limited. Continue by eliminating all that is finite and limited. Any concept or entity bounded by time, space or causation is restricted and thus cannot embody the infinite nature of Brahman. 4. Eliminate the subject-object duality. Discard the distinction between the subject, the observer, and the object, the observed. In the quest for Brahman, dualities are transcended. The ultimate reality is non-dual, where the observer and the observed are one. And that is subjective awareness. There cannot be anything beyond subjective awareness. And that is Brahman. That is existence. That is consciousness. So if you're looking for Brahman, all you have to do is think, reflect and work on your mind. That's called Mananam.
Just as in mathematics, where the elimination method reveals the fundamental solution by removing extraneous elements, this philosophical approach reveals Brahman by discarding all that is not eternal, independent, infinite or non-dual. Thus, Brahman is realized as the ultimate truth, the essence of existence and consciousness. Now, let's revisit the fourth step I mentioned earlier, focusing on the observer and the observed, or Brahmana and Brahmeya, respectively. If you can visualize, imagine, or even think of something, whatever is thought of is the object, and an object cannot be Brahman. Why? Because whatever you imagine or think of lies outside your subjective awareness, and so it cannot be the all-pervading Brahman. What is it that remains at the core around which all mental images are created? The Self. That is exactly what Krishna declares in Shloka 10.20 of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Ahamatma guda kesha sarva bhuta shi istitaha, ahamadischa madhyamcha bhuta anamante evacha. I am the Self, Arjuna, situated within all living entities. I am the origin, the middle and also the end of all beings. Krishna says in the second shloka of the ninth chapter, Raja Vidya Raja Guhyam Bavitram Idamuttamam Pratyaksha Vagamam Dharmim Susukham Kartumavyayam. This is the royal science, the supremely holy and profound secret that can be experienced directly and with ease. It is very easy to practice and is everlasting. To conclude, let's reflect on the Mahavakyas from the Upanishads, the great declarations that reveal the essence of Brahman. 1. Prajnanam Brahma Consciousness, awareness or insight is Brahman. Aitreya Upanishad 3.3 3 from the Rig Veda. 2. Ayamatma Brahma This self is Brahman. Mandukya Upanishad 1.2 of the Atharva Veda. 3. Tattvamasi That or that essence are you. Chandogya Upanishad 6, 8, 7 of the Samaveda. 4. Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma Chandogya Upanishad 3, 14, 1 All this indeed is Brahman. This Mahavakya speaks of the essence in all objects and beings. 5. Aham Brahmasmi I am Brahman. Brahadaranik Upanishad 1, 4, 10 of the Yajurveda. Remember, the I in this Mahavakya does not refer to the ego or the body-mind complex, but to the true self, the formless subjective awareness. As you reflect on these profound truths, may you realize that beneath all layers of existence, the eternal, all-encompassing Brahman is your true, formless and indescribable self. This journey of elimination, known as Neti Neti, from the complexity of the transient to the simplicity of the eternal, reveals the most stunning revelation of all. You are that Brahman. Thank you. Stay blessed. Jai Shri Krishna.